So I'm going to be breaking down a situation where I had pocket aces versus pocket kings, and it was a good one. Of course, as I'm getting into this, I'm also going to be breaking down some hands here in Ignition Poker. If you guys are looking for some great poker sites and resources, we'll have some links in the description. Now, this first hand was also pretty crazy. We had a 7-10 offsuit, and I was in the big blind. Now, usually in the big blind, depending on the type of hand and if somebody's raising me late in late position, I will 3-bet. And that's exactly what happened here. Now, I got really aggressive with this hand on the flop, and uh, this guy thought, you know, I was basically just bluffing at it, but we did hit a pair. Uh, of course, as you're watching all of these hands, uh, feel free to comment below about any of them. You know, I thought for the most part, though, I played really uh, good in this session. We started with 200 bucks, and I think I got up to like 900, and that was like within an hour of playing, which is absolutely insane. Okay, anyways, um, we did hit a, a seven here. Decided just to shove on him. He called with pocket fives. Uh, you know, I guess looking back at the hand right there, uh, um, you know, I guess him calling there wasn't a terrible call. He still could obviously hit a five on the Turner River or got a six. But, you know, the seven ten offsuit worked out in our favor right there. And, you know, uh, another thing I got to say, guys, is sometimes you got to go with your gut in certain situations. And that's what I like to do. You know, I never play exactly the same. I'm always kind of like switching up my style, uh, just depending on the dynamics of you know, uh, who's raising me in late position or if I'm going to put in like a big bluff. Obviously, that was a semi bluff because we did hit a pair. So it wasn't like I was shoving with nothing right there. And he called me with, you know, one of those hands where it was really close and I get it. But uh, yeah. Uh, OK, anyways, we still got the aces versus king situation coming up. You guys are going to want to watch it because it was uh, it was actually really funny the way it was played because um, I slow played it and he slow played his kings. <laughs> And it totally backfired on him, and it was just one of those cooler situations. All right, anyways, we had another 7-10 right there. That one was suited. We got no action with it. All right, king-10 in the small blind, very playable. Okay, so nothing on the flop. However, I stayed... Uh, I stayed with this one. I think I put in a bet here on the turn. All right, small bet got him off of it. He had nothing. Okay, um, so check this out. Uh, first to act right here, this guy's going to limp. I decided to limp as well. Now, I don't usually limp with aces like ever. I would say, you know, nine out of ten times I'm always obviously raising with it or three betting or whatever uh, if there's a raise in front of us but this time I decided to slow play it and this is why it was so funny okay the guy who was first to act is also slow playing <laughs> um and, and just check this out all right so player three is going to put in a raise he raised it to 12 bucks now player five is gonna three bet and i was just like oh my god is this really happening like best case scenario for aces okay so he three bets it to 38 and now it's on me and this is just the funniest hand ever so i'm gonna raise it to like 120 or 130 bucks i didn't just go all in with it i, I wanted to put in a you know <laughs> a four bet all right, so, uh, you know, obviously a little bit over 100 bucks here. And I was thinking to myself, like, does this guy really have pocket kings? Um, could he have pocket queens, maybe ace king? But, you know, I was feeling, I was kind of feeling like he had uh, either pocket aces like me or pocket kings. And, uh, yeah, this is just just crazy <laughs> okay so i mean really just dodging the king um but i just thought this hand was so funny because me and him were both slow playing it pre-flop I, I thought that was just hilarious let me know your thoughts guys i uh you know 
I don't recommend slow playing uh, aces ever. Like I said, nine out of 10 times I do open with it or, you know, whatever it is, three bet, four bet, depending on the situation. But, you know, uh, that was just, I mean, that was just hilarious. Uh, No doubt about it. That was some poker comedy for you guys. Okay, next game we had Pocket Kings. Um, I thought I played this one uh, well. So I three bet it to 21 bucks. And it was a pretty safe flop for Pocket Kings. This guy is going to make the call. I think there's going to be a jack on the board. Okay, yeah, pretty safe flop. Obviously, we got some straight and flush draws out there, but at the same time, um, you know, I'm going to continue. So I kicked it up to 32 here. He's going to make the call. Turn card isn't exactly what I wanted to see, but I'll tell you what. Just because the jack came doesn't necessarily mean he has a jack, right? So I'm not going to stop at this point. I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, if you got a jack, you got me. Um, but it felt like maybe maybe like a straight draw, maybe even like a pair of nines. And he did. Uh, he turned over a 9-8 suited, which wasn't a bad hand. It was just that... You know, uh, he ran into kings right there, and uh, it is what it is, guys. So we took down another nice pot. And like I said, I started this session off with a couple hundred bucks, but we ended up getting, uh, you know, close to $1,000. I got into the 900 range in under an hour, which is crazy. That is a, a sick return for playing an hour of poker, especially at the $200 game. Just kind of ridiculous. Okay, anyways, um... Final land here, we had pocket tens, uh, but yeah, I I just wanted to, to show you guys that aces versus kings situation because it was so funny that we slow played it, <laughs> both of us. Okay, so I just made the call here. I could have probably, you know, kicked it up if I wanted to. Uh, very bad board for us with the, uh, you know, the ace king out there with tens, really just looking to turn a 10 at this point. Um, But at the same time, I decided to make a call here because you never know. He could have a small pocket pair continuation betting. So you don't want to fold right away. I mean, you got to at least let him prove to you he's got, you know, something. And he did. I think if I would have put in a bet, he probably would have called me with the queen. So checking it down there, I felt like was probably the smartest play. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed some more, uh, you know, some of these hands for sure. Thanks for watching this. We'll see you guys in the next poker video.